Rectangular shapes, such as slots, are commonly machined features. To create a rectangular shape, I'll select the drop-down arrow below the Rectangle command. Select Rectangular Shapes, and the Rectangular Shapes options will open on the left. I want to work on the front plane, so I'll right-click and select the front construction plane. And I'll make sure the construction depth is set to zero. A rectangular shape can be created by specifying the base point or by specifying two points. With the two points option, opposite corners of the shape are selected. With the base point option, only one point is selected or entered using the fast point option. The anchor is the position chosen in the origin section here. For example, if I wish to create the slot in the front plane of my motor mount, working from the center point, then I would select this radio button. If I wanted to work from the top right-hand corner of the rectangle, before the radius is added, I would select this radio button. Whichever anchor option I select, I must remember that the anchor position is the location of the initial rectangle before any shape deviation is applied. For my part, I'll work from the center, so I'll switch back to this anchor position. Now I'll type 2.549, comma, negative 2, and press Enter to create the initial rectangle. Next, I'll move my mouse away from the center point and click to create the shape. If the anchor point is incorrect, I can select the point 1 button and change it. I will now enter the width as 0 0.213 times 2 and press the Enter key to apply this size. I could also have used this button to select an entity on the screen which is vertically aligned with this slot's edge. Also, I can lock this size on with this icon if I'm creating multiple shapes of the same size. I'll unlock this field and reset the slot width to 0 0.426. Next, I'll enter the height as 1.5 plus 0 0.213 plus 0 0.213 and press the Enter key to apply the size. In this box, I can enter the corner fillet radius if required. For example, I'll enter 1 16th as the radius, and the corners are now rounded. If I would like this shape rotated, I can enter the angle here. I'll enter 45 degrees, and press Enter to see the preview. Or I can click and drag this arrow to change the angle. I'll set it back to 0 degrees. In the Entity section, I can select which rectangular shape I require. If I select the single D shape, my part will look like this. The double D option will look like this. Lastly, I want to create an aub round shape, so I'll select this option. As with the rectangle, if I wish to also create a center point or a surface, I can enable these options here. I do not want these, so I'll uncheck them. If I wish to create more than one shape, I would select the Apply button once the shape is correct. I only want to create the one shape, so I'll accept my selections to create the slot.